Let's go to Manitoba, everyone. Let's do it. Manitoba, we've crossed to province number four, everyone. Oh, wow. Sticker times. And in my short time in Manitoba, I have learned that you cannot, absolutely cannot stop on the side of the road because if you do, you're going to be greeted by the great Canadian Air Force, which are the mosquitoes. Hello! Alright! Guys, there's another cycle tourist there. Good morning everyone. Welcome to July 3rd. I am at the Binskarth Park and Pool. Now this place is about 20 kilometers away from Russell, Manitoba. Leaving today, where am I going? Uh, I, I have no idea where I'm going. I will get to where I get to. See you on the road. Still very much enjoying my beautiful ride. Also, a little bit more hilly. Let's climb. Road conditions have become a little bit more difficult. So the, this is the shoulder. It's um, sandy gravel. So I'm riding on the road, still on Highway 16. Just a quick update to let you know that Highway 16 has regained its shoulder. I wanted to share with you a sign that is a very uncommon sign. Rest area, five kilometers. So let's see what this rest area is all about. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to July 5th. I had a rest day yesterday. A huge, huge thank you to Sandra and Dave for hosting me at the last moment. They are warm showers hosts. I am in Nipawa and I obviously needed a rest day yesterday. It was also a very rainy day. Let's keep riding and I will see you on the road. Let me tell you what I'm doing today. Instead of taking Highway 16 all the way to Portage La Prairie, which would then have me join Highway 1, which is the Trans Canada Highway, I am going to detour once again south on highway 5 and then that will allow me to then travel on to the Redcoat Trail and that will take me all the way to Winnipeg. I'm going to get back onto the Redcoat Trail, take it easy, avoid Highway 1, the Trans Canada Highway as much as possible and then join it in Winnipeg and then um, yeah take it all the way into Ontario. See you on the road. I'm riding on Highway 5 and I see potatoes in the shoulder. Lots of potatoes. So they must have fallen off a truck. Maybe. I stopped for lunch in Carberry, a small town on the way, and look at what I found. Look at the street name. It's Toronto! Highway 5 has now gotten super bumpy. Bumping up and down in a little Kona Sutra. Bumping up and down in a little Kona Sutra. Look at this, sand dunes. Yeah, more sand dunes. The road. Look at the road. It has received some magnificent paving. About 76 kilometers away from Nipoa. Hey everyone, it's the middle of the night. I don't know exactly what time it is, but it is, well, quite late or quite early, depending on how you look at it. I basically had an encounter with a raccoon. This is the second time I used my bear spray, <laughs> not on a bear. Um, what happened? Well, I had my food pannier in, in and around my tent. I heard some noises. I heard some scratching. I noticed that one of my panniers was missing from the vestibule of my tent. So it took the bag out from, 
from underneath here so it must have like crawled in underneath here underneath the, the vestibule and pulled the pannier out i heard scratching more scratching and it dawned on me that hey it's an animal who's taken my pannier <laughs> sure enough i started banging on the tent and then ran out of the tent <laughs> the raccoon the little bugger the raccoon was helping itself to the pannier but our kale pannier persevered. The pannier is obviously dirty because the raccoon kept scratching it. So what am I doing? I uh, took the food, took the both of my food panniers to the washroom. I left a note for the human animals. Please do not remove storing overnight food inside. Thank you. Let me know what you think. Will it survive or will somebody take it? I hope to be awake super early tomorrow morning to pick up the food. Good morning. It is hmm, July 6th, I believe, today. Oh, I haven't slept much, so uh, everything is also damp because it is, whew, well, it is damp. <laughs> um, I can't think right now. Let's go see if the panniers are in the washroom. Okay, the moment of truth. Are the panniers here? Yes, they are here. On the road, I am so tired. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know how much I slept last night, but whoa, I'm tired. So I'm going to try to find some coffee. Good news is I am very close to uh, the Red Coat Trail, which is the highway that is then going to take me to Winnipeg. I won't get to Winnipeg today, but I hopefully will reach Winnipeg tomorrow. There is some sort of an attraction here. Sarah the Camel? I found Sarah the Camel. Let's go. Let's go see her together, shall we? I'm stopped in the middle of the road in Treehern, <laughs> but I wanted to point out something. This little place, Prairie Hearth Market, I, I took shelter in that place, kind of waiting to see if the storm passed and it's looking like it's passing. So a beautiful little place. I had an egg sandwich, delicious. And um, they opened in September. If you are in Treehern, highly, highly recommend this place. Stop by and yeah, get something because it's great to support these small local communities, right? Let's get on the road, shall we? Good morning, everyone. Welcome to July 7th. I am in St. Claude, a small village in Manitoba, and I had the most amazing time here. Yesterday, I went to the, the Catholic church. As I was standing there thinking, Josiane walked up to me and said, hey, are you looking for a place to stop? And I said, yes. Are you looking for accommodation? Yes, I am. Josiane and Robert are uh, kind of like warm showers hosts, but they're not warm showers hosts, but they welcome cyclists. They host cyclists and people who are on their adventures who are coming down the Red Coat Trail. So if you are ever uh, anywhere close to St. Claude, Manitoba, if you're ever traveling on the Red Coat Trail, they will welcome you in their home. They are such a generous, kind couple. Once again, hosted me, invited me into their home, fed me. It, it was just such a beautiful, beautiful experience. I was really tired, it was really hot yesterday and it was I, once again, trail magic, people's kindness is just absolutely overwhelming. So a huge thank you goes out to them. I wanted to show you something, which is the world's largest smoking pipe, St. Claude, Manitoba. Look at this. Look at this monstrosity. There's the sutra for comparison, right? This small village is so well maintained. You can see how much pride people take in this in, in living here. It is French speaking, which is amazing. The Sutra is ready for adventure. Today we head to Winnipeg. I wanted to show you how beautiful these fields are. I believe these are canola flowers. They are so beautiful and the clouds are absolutely making them look even more stunning. 
so vividly yellow. Beautiful. I am heading to a town called Starbuck on my way to Winnipeg. I'm entering Winnipeg, everyone. The traffic, the traffic has increased. Good morning everyone, welcome to July 8th. I am at a warm showers host right now, taking a rest day in Winnipeg. In fact, I'll have a couple of rest days before I move on. Today, I am heading into Winnipeg. Because the warm showers host is located outside of Winnipeg, it's about an hour's bike ride. So, getting ready to do just that, and I'll take you along with me. I arrived at Woodcock Cycle Works in Winnipeg, Manitoba, and I didn't know they were a cafe as well. It's a bike shop cafe, and look at that. This makes me happy. Kona authorized dealer, yes. to 10th of July. I skipped a day. Guess why? I took another rest day. So I spent a couple of days just outside of Winnipeg at a warm showers host. I was hoping to get some rest, which I did. Also publish a video, which I did not. There was no Wi-Fi at the warm showers host here. But on that topic, I wanted to thank my warm showers hostess who welcomed me to her home even though she was not home. So thank you so very much. You know who you are. I appreciate the kindness. Thank you. So what's the plan today? Today, I don't know where I'm getting to. Still riding in Manitoba mostly. One last day. We're going to be heading to Ontario tomorrow, but today. I'm hoping to get to Tim Hortons, hopefully upload the video. This is taking a while because the internet is so slow. All right. I'm going to be riding on Highway 1 today and tomorrow and for the foreseeable future. So wish me luck with the traffic. I am dressed up for the rain. I have my waterproof socks on. It's meant to be raining. Okay, let's go. See you on the road. I have a tailwind, everyone. The road is flat and I have a tailwind. I don't know how long this will last, but oh my God. Cruising! Cruising! Look at this! I'm gonna miss the center of Canada sign. Oh, too bad. Welcome to July 11th. I'm going to make it super quick because I am being eaten alive by mosquitoes and of course it's raining. Today is the day I cross into Ontario and today is also the day where my um, new tent, the Sea to Summit Telos two-person tent leaked on me again. This is the second tent that I've had the misadventure of uh, leaking on me. So let's see how Sea to Summit handles this one. I hope their customer service is much better than MSR's. Regardless, the Sutra is all packed up. The, the, the soggy, soggy tent is right here. And uh, yeah, it's never pleasant when it rains, but you know what? We can control the elements, so let's go ride. It's raining, it's pouring. The prairies 
are sad that I'm leaving.